Hello, uh, Richard McCann here in Leeds City Centre, uh, making this little video undercover today uh, in my casuals, unshaven in fact, and a miserable day because yesterday I was inspired to uh, dig a little bit deeper into what customer service looks like at phone shops in Leeds. The reason I'm saying that is because yesterday I was in a phone shop myself and a customer came in uh, asking for a iPhone face protector, a couple of pounds, and she asked, the lady asked the uh, shopkeeper uh, whether or not he would fit it for her. It would have took him a minute. He said, no, we don't fit them. And she walked away and looked a bit upset. So I went over to the woman. I said, listen, I'll do it for you. So she went and bought it and I fit the uh, the cover for her. It took me less than a minute and she went off, off a happy customer. So I thought, was that a one-off or, or would most uh, shopkeepers or shop assistants act in that way? So today I'm going to go undercover. I'm going to choose 10 phone shops. I'm going to ask for the very same thing to be done just to see whether I can get any fantastic customer service and I'll let you know what we find. So, bye for now. So I found the first shop, it's Phones For You, it's over here and uh, I'm heading down there now to see whether or not we can get a phone cover fitted by the assistant. I'll make up some excuses as to why I can't do it myself. <laughs> Does the iPhone 5 protector covers? The, the protector covers that they, they go on the face? No. You know, so the plastic sheets? Oh, just the, the front, you mean? Not yeah. The the, the front. We've got glass ones, 10 quid, glass screen protectors. Not the ones that you have to lay on and the sticky ones, no? It's, just, it's similar. They're yeah. Just, they're, they're better, they're, they're will, you, will you fit it for me? I can get one of the guys to fit it for you. Yeah, okay. I'm, show me, is it down there? I'll have a look around, you see that customer. <laughs> I'm doing some undercover um, video stuff for uh, a mystery shop and see whether phone shops would, would be prepared to fit the phone cover. Alright, oh, okay. And you said yes to that, so that's all I need. Is it okay, Connor? Yeah, yeah, Thank you. Fine. Cheers. So that was Connor at O2. Connor was prepared to fit it. He said he, w he couldn't guarantee a great job. So uh, that's two out of two so far. I'm quite yeah. impressed. So let's go to the next one. <laughs> Apple store, I'm sure somebody in the Apple store is going to give fantastic customer service. Let's let's see, shall we? Yeah, look at those plastic covers that go over your phone. Oh, yeah, green protector, yeah. yeah. Apple 5, yeah. 5S. Piece of plastic. Would you, would you fit that if I bought it for me? We can, I can, yeah. Um, I'm, we're not, I'm not brilliant at it, but I'm all right. I'm happy to do it. So straight away, he said yes. Uh, he said he wasn't comfortable doing it, but and not everybody else would do it, but he was prepared to do it. So that's three out of three. I'm quite surprised so far. Maybe it was a red herring yesterday, but we shall see. Virgin Media now. I'm not sure if they have mobile phones, but we'll go in and have a look now. So going into Virgin Media. For the 5S there, that's it. Yeah, would you fit it for me if I bought it? I've got a, got a dodgy thumb, that's all. You'll have a go. You'll have a go. Virgin Media. And uh, they said yes as well, so that's four out of four so far. So uh, onwards and upwards, I'm really impressed by this. Oh, have you still got a screen protector for an iPhone 5S? You don't sell them? Wow. We've got, um, we've got Apple Store here. Of course you have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Well, he was very helpful. Um, so, top marks to him. I'm going to the EE shop. Part of T-Mobile. Quick question, do you know, if, would you fit the uh, the screen protector for me if I buy one? Yeah. You'll fit it for me? Right, I'll, yeah, bro, no problem, no problem. I'll, I'll stop. Cheers. Thanks. Was yes. From the EE shop said a yes as well. So I think that's six out of six now we've had. Cry the car phone warehouse and I'm going in. Okay. If, just a quick question, if I, if I buy a screen protector for this, would somebody fit it for me? Yeah. Alright, okay, great. Alright, no problem. So we'll browse around anyway. Thanks. So now in Leeds City Market where the independent phone uh, repairers are and I'm going to go into a number of those to see whether we have the same kind of response that we've had so far in some of the high street stores. So uh, uh, let's see what we find. Hello. If 
I bought a uh, iPhone 5 screen projector, would you fit it? You would? How much are they? Four pounds. No, you're too big. Okay, I think we're going to have our last one now, which is Phone Empire and Leeds City Market. Let's go see if they will fit it as well. I'm sure they will. Hello? You sell the screen protectors for a 5S. How much are they? The, the plastic, how much? Would you fit it for me? Yeah. How much? Five or ten. Which one is the man? iPhone 5. Yeah. So there you have it. I've been around to around ten shops and every single person said yes. I'm now going back to the original shop where I took my phone in for repair yesterday to see if it is ready for collection. And I'm also going to ask him why he never uh, fit that woman's screen for her. So uh, back in a minute. Well, that was interesting. I've just come out of the, uh, the the market store where we had the incident yesterday where the guy wasn't prepared to fit the uh, protector screen for the potential customer. And I asked him a question. I asked him why he uh, decided to uh, behave in that way. And his response was interesting because he said, for £2, he said it wasn't worth my time. It wasn't worth his time. I can guarantee that she will never go back to that stall again, that shop again. And I told him that. I said, yeah, but she may become a lifelong customer. So uh, anyway, he didn't seem to understand that. Okay, good luck to him. But uh, I was really pleased, I was really surprised actually because I know we hear a lot of uh, stories about bad customer service but we've got great customer service at least at the shops in Leeds today uh, as you saw earlier. So uh, well done everybody else but uh, uh, disappointing news for the stall holder in Leeds City Market. Anyway, that's me, uh, until next time bye for now.